Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac afterwards. We're gonna random. You're hoping for no loss, you're hoping for no keeper. Could be. Could actually be in there. Yep, there you go. We're gonna be the keeper today. I thought we were gonna have fun, but apparently I'm mistaken. Uh, CNKG3Q3S. First things first. Let's not get too uh, frightened here. We have done this before. I unfortunately sort of have to pick up the coins to get out here and actually hit the enemy, so I don't love that, but you know, we, we have done this before. If we spawn a coin every room, I think that gives us a fantastic chance at success. So far, so good. I mean, I haven't I, I haven't really been saying anything of note yet. There's not really too much to say. We've already we've already done our keeper spiel. This is now keeper number two within the same streak. I don't feel like that's super disproportionate. It's not like we random did twice in a row or something like that, at which point I'd be like maybe a little exhausted. Like I mean the keeper's a character I actually mostly like to play because there's some high stakes out here, but um I will say that I'm I'm feeling a little bit like like the game wants me to lose here. I feel a little bit like all star John Scott from the National Hockey League. They're trying to get me to bow out gracefully and I'm uh I'm I'm taking the fight to them. They're like, well, we'll give you. We want you to end the streak, so we're gonna have you random the keeper, and then if you could just like, you know, do what you do as the keeper and lose, that would be nice for us personally. And I'm saying, you know what? No, we're not doing that today. We're going for broke. Do not go gentle into that good night. By the way, super shitty damage. We <laughs> like our damage is is okay. The damage we took was horrible. Um, the chariot, that's very useful actually. And spider bite is not bad. So we can at least be excited about this. I don't really care about saving enough money to have an arcade available on the next floor, so forget about that. Let's just see what boss we're fighting. Little horn, in my opinion, is not worth using the chariot on. That will change if and when we take a hit. If we don't take any hits, we'll save the chariot card for later. It's much better used. Um, as kind of a get out of jail free card, you know, walk into a room, wooden nickel doesn't spawn a coin, which happens periodically. Um, you decide you don't want to die, but you also think that you probably stand a good chance to if you keep it up. So that's where we're at right now. Like we've taken a hit, but there's a decent chance we just get an HP upgrade, which means we don't even have to use Wooden Nickel. Okay, I mean, that's not the ideal haul. The ideal haul would be any other boss item, but that's okay. Burning Basement's all sorts of fucked up. But this first room is very easy. We'll also uh, presumably get up to five cents. Five cents allows us to get something from the shop. Normally, you'd be uh, gunning for a uh, Spirit Heart, which doesn't really do anything for us here. Now, this is kind of a pivotal moment for us. Not not necessarily this room in particular, but the whole floor is, is a pivotal moment for us. If we don't take damage, we will get a deal with the devil. We can take a deal with the devil as long as we have HP to go along with it. Um, the catch is... Ooh, luck up's nice. The catch is, if we do get hit, we probably fucked ourselves out of a deal with the devil. So, you know, that can have catastrophic implications. We'd rather avoid, if possible. I think that's acceptably... Uh, acceptable use of a bomb there. We will spend another bomb to get into our shop. This is like the only card that I'd be excited about. Um, which is like a... Or the only consumable I'll be excited about, which is a playing card. But I think starter deck is more valuable. Right now. Hierophant does basically nothing for us. But starter deck I still think is more... Um, more valuable for us. We're gonna pop the chariot card. I didn't want to do it. I'd rather save it for a boss. But it seemed like the right time. Um... Seem like the right time to me, at least. Let's go back and uh, crack open this item room. I think it's very important to stay like relatively level. You know, pretty calm on these runs. Obsessed fan is not very good, but I think it is better than Lost Protector. So I, I'm not gonna come too over the top with that as a negative. We're gonna pop our Hero Font cards just to give us a bunch of flies before we move on to the Ragman fight here. And this, I expect, will take forever. We did some nice damage, actually, with the uh, Obsessed Fan there. Uh, wait. Did Ragman shoot at Obsessed Fan? Does it have, like, a, a My Best Friend-style interaction that I just didn't know about until just now? Come on. Ragman's almost done. This way, if he drops HP, we can do something with it. 
Didn't drop HP. Drop strength. We could we could we could do something? I don't know. Do we <laughs> this is <laughs> I don't like it. Um I don't think we can take any of this. I, I mean we maybe we can, but I don't think we should take any of it. I think we'll just head down instead. So a shot speed upgrade is not the haul we're looking for on that floor, that's for sure. Curse of the Blind, also decidedly on dope. We're really in it uh in kind of a tight spot relative to our first keeper run. Our first keeper run was pretty dang easy. As far as keeper runs go, which still makes it, you know, tougher, uh, tougher than your average run, like without a, a doubt in the world. Wow, that was close. Um, but uh, with good play, you don't need a lot of damage to survive, like the earliest floors. It'll be annoying. It'll be tedious. It'll it'll irritate the shit out of everybody. Hopefully not the people watching, but definitely the me playing. Um, but. It's very doable, as much as I'd rather not. That would be a great name for a podcast about shit that I'll do begrudgingly. Ryan, can you take the garbage down? As much as I'd rather not, yes, I will do that. Okay, sure, that seems fair. Keep yourself back. Fat bat tomo flies that are slow, don't really bother me. They are going to take 15 hits each to kill. I'm still amazed with how well uh, Obsessed Fan did for us on the Ragman fight. Can't go to the curse room. It's, uh... I feel like playing the Keeper is like what it's like to have like a, a food allergy to something that's commonly consumed. Like a food allergy to cheese or something. Everyone's like, come to my birthday party, we're having pizza! And then you go, oh sorry, I'm allergic, I can't have it. Well, what are you allergic to? We'll just get the pizza without it, because we're friends. Well, actually, I'm allergic to the cheese, so I, I have no friend. Um, there's probably some of you out there allergic to cheese living a perfectly normal lifestyle. Um, that's sweet. Keep it up, man. Uh, all I'm trying to do is make a metaphor here. I'm not trying to say that your life should suck. Um, and the metaphor is... There's all these things... Kane's other fucking eye? Are you kidding me? There's all these things you like to enjoy on an Isaac run. I know you, you like to enjoy your... Uh, you like to enjoy those deals with the devil? Sorry, not allowed any longer. You like those curse rooms that can hook you up with uh, pretty good items, uh, all for the cost of like a single red heart? Sorry, that's all your HP. So, like, be careful, because um, you can't you can't do it. So that sucks. That's just your new life. Enjoy. I didn't want to pick up that coin, but I found myself kind of stuck with respect to backtracking. You know what? I'm sort of digging, and this is how you know this run is fucking horrible, but I'm sort of digging uh, the fan here, my biggest fan or whatever it's called, um, because it's kind of like a time-delayed Guppy's hairball. I very nearly died there. This room is horrible for this uh, layout, by the way. Please just die. Thank you. Very nearly died again. I did measure that one. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but what I mean when I say I measured it is that uh, I had a I had a suspicion that we would be fine. I have the shop key. Oh, I have to hit the button. You freaking idiot! We're safe. We don't have a coin though. Please. Don't make me do this. I beg you. No spiders. No spiders. Instead, we get coins. Strength card's pretty good. I don't really want to fuck with that. This is going to be... This is kind of like our train wreck right now. And I'm not talking about the Amy Schumer, Bill Hader movie of the same name. Uh, common misconception. This is our run... To prove that we got it in us. To win as the keeper on a run that fucking is horrible and sucks and everyone hates it. And I hope it doesn't make me hate myself. Cat of Nine Tails is like our first pickup that is good universally for us. I like this. Okay, sweet. Then you give me a Joker card. Two of Spades. Actually pretty good as well. 
Uh, now we have some damage, at least. I know, by the way, Kane's nearsighted friend recently got buffed. Um, I don't know the specifics of the buff. That seems like the kind of thing that's relevant on a run that's not the Keeper. You know, if you're actually in a position to be like, you know, mulling the positives and negatives, then it doesn't really matter if you got Kane's nearsighted friend, because you're fine. We're in a position where Kane's nearsighted friend is quite obviously what? Quite obviously not good enough for us. Um, and we're, we're trying to, you know, make it work in spite of the fact that it's trash. If you're in a position where you're like, well, actually, you shouldn't speak down to it because it recently got buffed from a point blah blah to a point of uh, fuck myself. No, it's not, it's not relevant. You don't understand. It's not, it doesn't matter. It might sound obnoxious, but, you know, when your car's out of gas, you don't go, oh, well, you know, the airbags work, though. Like, you're not, you're not going anywhere. So I don't, I don't give a shit about uh, Kane's nearsighted friend right now. If we get BFF, maybe I could be persuaded, perhaps. So, but uh, for now, I'm not really invested or interested or excited with it. I'm just, uh, I'm just persevering. We continue to kind of squander our deal with the Devil Chance, and I'm not um, the world's happiest man. That'd be a dope Guinness Book of World Records record to hold, though, right? Like world's happiest man. You ever think about that? It might be like psychologically, like it might fuck with you too, though. Because you'd be like, how can I be sad if I'm the world's happiest man? If I'm the world's happiest man, how sad are other people? In a way, being the world's happiest man might make you a, a sadder individual. But you'd still be happier than everybody else. It's like a plot of a movie. We need a comedian who is known for being zany, but is trying to make their career maybe take on like a more serious path. Uh, and then this can be their movie where, you know, they star alongside like Catherine Keener or like... Um, Maggie Gyllenhaal or something, and then you go, oh, they've got David Spade has a surprising amount of dramatic range, and then you think that this is gonna like change their career, and they're gonna do like a Bill Murray Lost in Translation style like late career arc where they start to redeem themselves for the work they've done in the past, and then they just keep they just keep being shitty. But hey, man, that's not so bad. Hey, also neither is the stopwatch. That's pretty sweet. Mega fatty, huh? All right, well. That's exciting. Why am I actually semi-pleased about Mega Fatty? You think you can figure it out? You sort of got it, if you just saw what did damage right there. Um, the existence of like our fan means that whenever Mega Fatty starts to do this bullshit where he jumps us down, he always jumps to the position where we, we recently were, which is coincidentally a position that um, our fan will occupy in the future. So it's not really like an amazing coup or anything like that, but it did help us do some damage faster there. We got meat. Hey, I mean, at least it's .3 damage up. But it's not a, it's not a guaranteed win, but it's not horrible. We're at 12 minutes on the depths one, and my buddy Tomo wants in. How's it going, Tomo, buddy? You want to sleep in the cat castle? The king wears a king hat and lives in a king house, buddy. Okay. I got my serious commentary face on. Because we're alive 12 minutes into this Keeper run. It hasn't really been too tight. But there have been some times where, you know, it's looked a little dicey. We've made it out. But we haven't really had to do, like, the typical, like, Northern Lion Keeper thing where I, um, you know, have to survive on one coin for, like, eight floors. Luckily, we've been... Tomo? What's wrong? Is, is Ruka in your castle? Tom, where'd you go, buddy? Hello? Did Kay give you too much catnip? You freaking out? Tomo. Hey, buddy. I can leave the door open if you want. I know it gets hot in here. There you go. It's up to you. Nice, cool breeze. Okay. We got poop in here. Uh, that's not very good. We probably have no choice other than to go to this big room at some point. Not yet, though. <laughs> One day soon, but not yet. Uh, we'll probably try to pop Hagalaz on a room with a bunch of skulls. And the ideal payout there is just a card that is good. Black hearts, as you may recall, just become flies for us, so it's not that meaningful. Um, but, uh, we can get a card that's good, either for helping us get out of boss rush or really anything. Uh, then I, I consider that pretty positive. What's our other card? We had High Priestess and Two of Spades. These are both actually very good cards. 
Um, I think maybe we'll use Hagalaz right here. Even though I said I want to get a good card out of it, we need to make room to hold something. High Priestess is really good. Two of Spades is really good. Um, two of Spades, more utility. High Priestess prevents a bad situation or perhaps uh, salvages us from a bad situation. I see that we have some Tinted Rocks, but um, you may recall that Tinted Rocks are only situationally valuable as the Keeper. Um, there's not really a better use for our bombs, though, so we'll, we'll go for it. Where was this... I thought I saw a Tinted Rock. Am I losing my mind? Maybe I'm incorrect here. Okay. Well, never mind. Maya's playing tricks on me. Could get into the shop with the Two of Spades key. What are we hoping to buy there? I guess we'll be looking for a Joker card. So maybe we can find an opportunity to use a... Uh, to use a High Priestess card. If we fight a boss that we're not too fond of on this floor we can do so relatively guilt free or just use the two of spades card to give yourself two keys right off the bat but we could also just not do that because now we have one key sitting there so it's kind of a strange one let's hold off for a second I'm uh, incredibly amazed that it appears that we don't have to go through that big room I would have told you like 99% we just got a nickel, which still gave us four cents. That's a very generous game. You didn't have to do that. We can blow up our donation machine and buy something. We got the Depths 1. We probably did fuck our deal with the Devil Chance, but we, we were looking for angel deals at this point anyway. Um, blank card. We can't, unfortunately. Um, High Priestess is just too... Or Sorry, uh, the wooden nickel is just too valuable. Two of clubs. We'll just Basically, we have a free bomb, so we might as well go for that. Um, do we want to buy any more bombs? I don't think so. Do we care about a battery charge? You know what? For three cents, I do care about a battery charge. And the reason I care about that battery charge is because we didn't have one on our way into this fight here. I think it would be sensible for us to take, t take care of that. Uh, somehow, we may also have a chance at uh, Boss Rush, which is hilarious to me. Gish. I'm going to use High Priestess against Gish. Allow me to explain. We can't use High Priestess against Mom. And I want to make sure I have a card spot left over. Sure, two of uh, spades is something we could definitely get rid of and, and get some benefit out of. But I, uh, I just want to hedge our bets a little bit. We might want an Emperor card or something to hold on to later. We might as well get some value out of it. We do have a deal with the Angel. Don't give a shit about the key pieces. Take Guardian Spear. I have no idea if this is better or worse. We're in fucking Bizarro Land. We're living in the Twilight Zone. We bought a vacation home in Erie, Indiana. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay. Um, well, I'll tell you one thing. I hate this. Yep. Um, at least we will live. I, it's very nice of the game to at least do that for us. Let's double two of spades. Check this shit out. It's a one room. How could I not use the one room on the keeper random run in the middle of a streak? You know, there's just no way around it. So we'll re-roll it. And what the fuck do we have now? Cricket's body, the halo, mom's wig, Eden's blessing. You can't go a run without Eden's blessing. That's just science. Um, also, we lost wooden nickel. So I will probably <laughs> lose this run. Um, I'm getting torn around here, thrown around, I should say. Uh, also, I just realized we don't even have to use a key to get into our shop. We got a store storekeeper thing. Um, we need to find something financially to hook us up. The one room was a horrible decision. It's basically the worst decision I could have made. A apart from just, like, literally killing ourselves on the spikes on purpose. That would be worse. Admittedly. But sooner or later, and it could have happened right there, um, we're going to take some damage. We also have Pyro. I can't help but notice. I don't think we have Pyromaniac, though. I, I almost have to check. Leave some coins here, man, because we can't... Uh, can't afford... Fucking... Oh, my God. We have Lazarus. We're going to win this run. Remember, I always I was held up or um, stuck on this idea that we have to win as the Keeper. We don't have to win as the Keeper. We just have to choose the right moment to die as the Keeper and come back as Lazarus. Holy shit. We're in a great spot. Um, we we need to be careful. Thank you, Infamy. We need to be careful with when we pull the trigger. Because, uh, I mean, Lazarus rags. You Even on the first floor, you want to be careful when you pull the trigger. And that's the easiest floor in the fucking game, isn't it? So I'd, I'd really rather not die right now. But I don't value that that much because I'm not even going to go back and try to get a coin. <laughs> if it happens right now, it happens right now, I guess. This is the weirdest fucking situation, because I'm actually like... It's like having nine lives. 
Friends till the end's okay. It's like having nine lives and like wanting to use it but not wanting to lose all your HP. Only I'm with that right now for the Keeper. A character that is awful. So there's our shop. Um, we don't have HP in here. So we don't need to kill ourselves right now. Could. We don't have to. Okay, let's go to our item room. If we go fast enough, there's a small chance we might be able to make boss rush happen. So, I mean, I'd, I'd really like to. I would not want to do boss rush, but if um, if it presents itself, we got to at least entertain the possibility of it. There you go. Just get some poison in. A couple of hits and, and poison is enough to finish the job here. That might do it right there. That's more good bombs. We're going to fucking win this run. I'm, I'm actually amazed. I know we're leaving a coin behind. I'm amazed. I'm amazed in a great way. I'm baby I'm amazed by the way you let me out the door. Baby I'm amazed by the way you respond me as Lazarus. But mostly like I'm amazed by the fact that the the decision to reroll wooden nickel was the right one as the keeper in this very, you know, unique circumstance. What a time to be alive. Um should throw down some hot bombs. Just makes our life easier. Even if we can't reliably get Mom to step in the hot bombs, enemies will walk into the hot bombs. Enemies walking into the hot bombs will save me from me having to deal with said enemies. If I can engineer her stepping into the hot bombs, even better. We're done, man. Fuck it. Okay, take the Polaroid. We haven't lost any HP yet, any perspective HP, because we haven't seen any HP yet. Um, okay, I mean, Unicorn Stump is interesting, but we don't have what we need to make that work, I think. So we head down to the next floor. Still alive as the Keeper. A second chance as Lazarus, but things could go pretty drastically wrong here. Don't explode. He exploded. Holy shit, we didn't get hit. Wow! Is this Northern Lion luck? I don't know. Is it Northern Lion luck to live for six floors getting jack shit for good items as the keeper? And then you get a reroll that doesn't win you the run but puts you in a slightly better position probably in a novel and interesting way. Is that what Northern Lion luck is? Because I'm living that shit right now. Turns out if you survive long enough to take, you know, 300 dice rolls, you might, you might roll a six every now and then. Dry Baby is hooking me up, man. And like, don't don't get uh, don't get confused. This run is not good. This this permutation of items, at least, is not good. Um, is it better than what we had before? Probably. But to put it in perspective, I'm killing this doppelganger right now with Aquarius. So you know, it's not like we're we're eating lobster tails fresh out of the ocean or anything like that. This is not like an affluent run right now. Anytime you gotta kill something with Aquarius, something's gone terribly wrong in your life. We're just trying to get back to get back to where we started. Here's the real question. Do we use Aquarius? Not Aquarius. Do we use the chariot? That's an interesting one to get confused. This, the common sound is in the middle. Um, do we use the chariot to keep ourselves alive? Now that we've gotten an extra penny back, that's not really. Uh, liable to be a decision. You know what's nice is that if we do get a deal with the devil, we which is unlikely, I guess, but hopefully we at least get a deal with the angel. But if you get a deal with the devil, we actually can afford to uh, to take it if we like it. I almost feel like we use the chariot here because the feet can come down from anywhere, man. But we're doing, we're killing him so quickly though. Don't do it, man. We did it. Old bandage! This does nothing for me! You screwed me, man! We're still alive. How does this work? What a, what a, what a strange existence we find ourselves in. Don't, don't shoot. This is some Rainbow Six shit. We're just popping out behind cover. Dealing like, you know, one tick of damage and then popping back. By the way, oh, there we go. Just about to say, by the way, 
Again, on the subject of, wow, our rate of fire is so much better. I don't know if our run's better, but our rate of fire is so much better. On the subject of not getting confused about things, we're still one hit away from death. But we can actually take advantage of Tinted Rocks now. And we got 97 bombs. Oh, thank you for not fucking me. One Spirit Heart could be perceived as being fucked. I don't see it that way. I Instead, I see that you have given me the golden gift of life. You've given me a second chance. Alright, I was hoping for, I don't know, like a fortune teller? That wasn't a fortune teller, right? Yeah, I better... Always good to check twice when it's a bit of a touchy situation. You want to be doubly sure. We did find our secret room. This is... We're, we're in it, man. We're in it to win it. Pulse Worm, I do think, is better than what we have. Question mark card doubles our active effect. Not my smartest moment. If we get another Spirit Heart, I might like to run the risk of seeing what that, uh, what that judgment... Fuck me, dude. That bomb waited so long to explode. Now we don't have a choice, unfortunately. Um, whenever... Whenever it gets close, we have to go... <gasps> Infamy saved our lives. Holy fuck. Okay. That that wasn't even close. Like, that one popped out of nowhere, man. There's one more. Shit, we got him. Um, whenever things get close, we gotta go for broke. Holy shit, we can fly. Oh my god, this is... Dude, my heart is just pounding. It's not really pounding out of my chest, because it is a video game, but... Like, this run is taking turn after turn. Now we can fly, and if we live to the next floor, we actually have two fucking HP. All that requires is never getting hit again, except we just got a little more HP back right there from my buddy. Judgment. Never said a bad word about judgment in my whole life. If I did, I recanted at this very last moment when it's relevant to my current interest, babe. I got sucked in by his tractor beam there. Gravitational pull. Um, it's kind of interesting of an idea to go to this curse room, uh, use the chariot to get out so we don't lose our eternal heart, but I think it's probably ill advised right now. If we get hit and lose the eternal heart, but manage to pick up the extra HP to survive it, maybe we just go in and don't even worry about the uh, the chariot card, which could save our ass later. By the way, I will not be doing the hush fight. I've uh, consulted with uh, my people. I have my corner as my coach. Um, I did lose the eternal heart, and I've decided that uh, the hush fight is probably not in our interest right now. Thank you for not being a health down pill, even if you did still pseudo fuck me. There's enough HP, I think, to make this uh, worth it. So we're going to give it a try on the self-sacrifice room. And by self-sacrifice, of course, I mean curse room. Wait a minute. Is that a... No, that's not a tinted rock. I'm seeing tinted rocks in all the wrong places right now. All right. One full heart. And then in here, one half heart. We take our half heart. Go in, grab what it is, come out. What you know would be a great uh, item for our high octane, the high octane thrill ride right now. Why don't you just give me nine lives? Let's do, let's do exactly what we're doing right now, uh, right now. Nine times. We didn't get that. We got algas instead. I think you have to imagine that the algas rune probably beats the chariot card. We can use it on the cathedral. We can use it in a pinch. I know earlier, as soon as I saw that we had Lazarus Rag, I de or Lazarus Rags, uh, I declared, we've won. We have not won. What we've won uh, is our ability not to play as the Keeper. I was going to say if we don't want to, but it wasn't really a want situation. It was a, uh, it was a necessity situation. Let's do this the right way. Um, now we have to begin the, the probably slightly easier task of winning the whole run. We have to pop algas, unfortunately. Uh, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I think it is easier to win the rest of our existing run. These these bombs are just destroying, man. Uh, it is easier to win probably the rest of the run than it was to get to this point, but that doesn't guarantee us anything. Just get him. Just get him. Algas could run out any second now. 
You got no HP. What do you do here? That's what you do. Oh! <laughs> oh my lord, it never ends, man. I know, you. oh, the old Northern Lion would have gone to fight the Hush. No, he wouldn't have. Not on the 100 streak. I am the old Northern Lion. And I'm happy to be back. The old Northern Lion would have re-rolled his Keeper run, is what he would have done. And he would have fucking persevered and still made the run work. With a little bit of help from his friends. In this case, his, his friend is the random number genera generator located within Isaac. Not really within Isaac, technically. It's within the... You know, it, it's a static object. Uh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, me. Okay. Every small room is another gift from the Almighty. That says, hey, just enjoy life, man. Chill out, have a drink. You can relax a little bit. You got 2 HP, man. You're jamming. Are we jamming right now? I would suggest that we're probably not jamming. The Fool card. Actually, possibly pretty nice. Let me paint a picture for you. Red Heart gets dropped. We don't need it right now. We uh, get hit on another room. We think we're going to die. We use the Fool card to teleport out of said room. Walk back to the Red Heart. Try another path or try that room again with full HP and... Uh, you know, a little bit of forehand knowledge of what's going to happen. That could very well happen on the Isaac fight as well. <laughs> if it, It's patience. It requires some patience, you know? I've been walking the streets at night. I think we just go for this one. Just finish this one off. Don't, too much knockback. A little, little dicey. Okay, we still got our fool card then. Uh, we don't want full HP. We just want an opportunity to make this happen. It's not a second secret room. It's not a second secret room. It's not a secret room. Second secret room. What is this, a freaking fortune cookie? Is this amateur hour? I don't think it's amateur hour. I paid for the real deal. Okay, don't get hit early the, the way the fight starts is the way the fight ends that was a would have been a great time for dry baby to come through in the clutch and it did second phase of the isaac fight y'all oh something saved me there i'm just gonna say thank you infamy i don't know if infamy uh, did thank me but thanks are free so we'll give them out readily and they'll come back to you twofold Stop spawning angel fetuses. Dry baby! You saved my butt. Oh, I don't like it, but I'm going to stick with it. We're not going to teleport, because we could easily teleport back in and just get hit, you know? Get hit on the first fly the first room or something. First wave. Dry baby, you're the one. You make boss time lots of fun. Don't ever get close to me, Isaac. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. My dry baby's too bootylicious for you, babe. Is that, is that how that song goes? Packle Bell's Cannon. We're safe. Scared shitless, but safe. Describes most smart cars as well. <sighs> Down to the chest. Never, never felt better, honestly. What's the chest going to give us? I'm going to say Dead Sea Scrolls, Kamikaze, um, Isaac's Heart, my best friend. The four best items any man could ask for on his birthday. It's not my birthday. Uh, okay, that's good. Growth hormones. Poison bombs, not horrible. All stats up and a fat odd mushroom. Uh, this is actually pretty good. We now have four HP. I know that sounds uh, unfathomable. What is it, like Christmas and uh, a blood moon rolled into one? Well, that was horrible, but actually Old Bandage paid out. No. Maybe, but no, not right now. Like, Dad's Key is just a hilarious, like, it's the, it's the cherry on top of this run. But I can't do it yet. I really can't. As much as I would love to, have we not entertained you here? 
Have these pseudo-keeper shenanigans not kept you enthralled for the past 32 minutes or so? They've certainly kept me enthralled. If I get... Like, strong enough to make it happen, I will. I promise. I'm not just gonna bow out, but as of right now, we're not there. It might look like we're there, but that really, that's just because we've accelerated very quickly from shit to, like, half decent. As of right now, we got a, we got a ways to go from half decent to, like, mega Satan capable. Bombs are key. That's really bad right now. Um, so we got 90 keys. Ah, you know, we still have five bombs. It's not that bad. At first I was like, one bomb sucks pretty hard. Our bombs are not bad. They're hot bombs. Check it and see. They got poison. Pull some shit. That's Def Leppard, not Poison. I don't know any Poison songs. Talk Dirty to Me? Is that a Poison song? She's My Cherry Pie? That's Warrant. Big rooms. Big rooms frighten me here. But hey, there's our there's an extra hit for us. This is not a bad big room. One of those dudes got stuck in the fire. I saw it happen with my own two eyes. Okay, okay. We finished that room. You'll hopefully forgive me for not picking up our 91st key. I don't take any credit for those dodges. Just chaos theory worked out in my favor. We gotta kill Gluttony last. This is actually like pretty important. Thanks a lot, Wrath. You fucked me. Um, we still in it. We still we still in it. Still got the fool card. <laughs> Wish I still had that chariot card from like six floors ago. But we still got the we still got the chariot. Far from insignificant. Sorry, we still got the fool. I meant to say, not the chariot. We still got the fool. It's far from insignificant if we get some HP drops. Oh, just destroy one Ragman, please. Thank you. One Ragman is dead! And we almost took another hit, which at th that point could start to become fairly deleterious. Um, has there ever been a deli called Delirious yet? I'm sure there's about 500 called Delicious, but it's not. Delirious is like our meats are out of this world. I know that doesn't necessarily have to deal with space. I'm just... I'm spitballing some potential ideas here. Have we... Re I'd like, okay, I, I really shouldn't be that mad. And Virgo Invincibility could save us. Um, or keep us saved. But, um... Can we talk about the fact that we got one red heart on this entire floor? Well, that's not fair. We got one red heart, and then we got an old bandage payout. We did, like, 12 rooms. And the most precious resource in, in the universe right now is hearts. Instead, we picked up 90 keys. Most of the time, not too salty about that, but this is a rare exception. Thank you. I think we're going to climb Mount Everest here. My baby takes the morning train. He respawns as Lazarus again. He uses a one room to save his run and finds me waiting for him. It's a good song. Oh, that's going to hit. Oh, what did I tell you? Even if I got damaged, at least I was right. That's, uh, sometimes that's more valuable. If we're not going to die, at least. I can't reliably throw bombs in there. I should probably stop trying because we, uh, our own Cricket's body shots keep keep passing them up. Hitting them back in our general direction. Oh, that's all right. We got invincibility coming on our next hit. So we're good, actually. We're set. We're set. I'm going to go take a long shower. We won. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Oh.